Hey guys, Marble Tyler here, and I'm back with another quick one. Uh, today we're going to talk about what happens when you have 10,000 credits in the Battlefront 2 beta. So that's roughly 6 to 10 hours of work, and that kind of depends on what you're doing. If you're skilled, you're going to get some more points. The game modes you play depends. Also, if you do the challenges and the arcade mode, those will each give you more points than normal. So it really depends on how you play the game to get those credits. But I saved up 10,000 points. You can see here as I'm opening all these loot boxes. What do you get when you save up 10,000? And this is supposed to reflect the final game, so we'll see in the final game if this is going to be a little bit different. But I have some totals here for you. But with 10,000 credits, you're able to purchase three of each type of crate. So you got three Starfighter crates. They cost 1,100. You get a Starfighter card and two random ones. You got three Trooper crates, which is also 1,100 credits. It's guaranteed one Trooper card and two random cards. And then there's the Allegiance crates. Those are 1,000 credits, and they include a Trooper card or a Hero card and two random cards. Now, for those of you that don't know, Battlefront 2 does have a loot box system as given by this video. And the whole idea is that this is how the progression in the game is going to work. So you want to get emotes, you want to get some skins, if they have skins, I know Ray has at least one skin. Uh, you want to get more power-ups, if you want better abilities, better weapons, attachments for your weapons. All of that's going to be through the loot box system. And there's going to be some crafting things that you can find, these little crafting parts. So you can personally pick up the things you want if you don't have them in the loot box. I don't know the extent of how that works. I just know that there will be microtransactions with this loot box system, which is very disappointing. Because you could buy all these loot boxes and by day one, right before you even play a game, you could have the best gear. Which is very unfortunate. That doesn't mean you're going to be the best player, but that means you're going to have some advantages. The benefit to having a microtransaction system is that there is no season pass though. So there's big expansions with four maps and everything that you gotta pay another double the game for. That's not gonna happen. So all the DLC is free, all the heroes, the maps, any extra little things they put out, everything's free, which is wonderful. The microtransactions suck, but we can work with that. The best system to compare this to is gonna be Halo 5. It's got a very similar system where everything, all the skins, all the weapons, attachments, etc., is all through the transaction system, the loot box system. So that's the best way to compare this. And overall, I enjoy this system. I think it's addicting and I think it's very uh, challenging in so many ways, but it does suck when someone else can just buy the gear that you want. Now here are the totals of what I ended up winning in these loot boxes. First, I got four emotes, so little sayings that characters will do, mainly heroes. I got two MVP stances, so when you're at the end of the game, you got those little, oh, this person did great, those little stances. I got one weapon attachment, which there's only so many weapons in the beta, so that's understandable. I got six starship cards, which are very common, there's a lot of them. I got ten trooper cards, which there's also a lot of those, there's even more than starship cards, which makes sense. I got one hero card which it is what it is, I would think I would have got more, but oh well. And I also got 30 crafting parts, so little tools I can use to get other star cards that I want, or upgrade stuff, or get attachments that I want. But there you go guys, that's everything you get with 10,000 credits in Battlefront 2's beta. I hope you found this enjoyable and a little bit informative as to what's going to come in the final game. Check back to STG for more Battlefront 2.